out. Wait, wait, the camera's not even on yet. You're silly. Are you gonna get up too? Yep. Hello and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. As you can see, we've got a bark box here and I am actually already in my pajamas, but the girls were getting so excited. <laughs> That was like perfectly on cue me, because you gotta get back up about the bark box that we are going to film it now. I'm actually leaving for LA tomorrow, so this is their last chance that they'll get to unbox it before I get home. What do you think? You wanna open it? Open it up. You can't just stick your head in. You have to open it. You want me to help? <laughs> so we are just gonna get into it. So. Let's see our card before we pull anything out. Uh, uh, uh. Behold the Barkbarian. Dress your dog for their bark box raid with a Viking helmet. This is not the size that my dog's going to be. So while that would be kind of adorable, having a little um, wrap around with a Viking helmet, that's not going to happen. But it is Vikings of Valhalla. Your dog has joined the Vikings of Valhalla, the bravest barbarians to ever raid a refrigerator, feast on meaty treats, wrestles with squirrels and sea monsters, and fling the fuff, fluff of the Valkyries. Be bold, mighty Viking. You're in for legendary playtime. That's absolutely adorable. And judging by the, um, the listings of what toys you can get on the back, I'm quite excited about these. I really want the octopus. Let's see if that's actually in here. All right, first we have Feast of Valhalla, Ragnar's Rabbit and Pork Stew. So this, these are wheat-free, soy-free, and corn-free with 13% crude protein, which is good. And the first ingredient in here is pork liver. Always great when the first ingredient is actually meat. And let's see how long it takes for me to get drooled on today. Up oh, and right then. Miko, come on. You gotta stay there. You're being a very good waiter, Tink. Here you go. What do you think about that? Mmm. Ugh, come on, Meeks. These are a big hit. I like them. What do you think? <laughs> All right, next we have a toy, and <laughs> this is a lady squirrel. Brunhild the Brown Squirrel. She's got a tube squeaker, a t-shirt rope, and crinkle paper in her. So, oh, that's quite the squeak. I see the, her, oh my gosh, that's actually really funny. Her pigtails are the rope, and then she's got a crinkle tail. So, as much as I hate these squirrels, aesthetics-wise, both of the dogs really love them. What do you think about her? They're like, no, I know that there are more treats in there. All right, next we have another of the Bark Shop exclusives, the Feast of Valhalla, Loki's Smoky Lamb and Salmon. I know both of my pups really like salmon, so I bet you these will be really fun. And these are wheat-free, soy-free, corn-free, and grain-free. And the first ingredient in here is lamb. Ooh, these are like gum sticks, or like shaped like pieces of gum. Do you really have to eat right here? Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if you can see my sweatshirt, but I literally have like lines of slobber going down on. And yes, this says finest yogurt. This is the brand sweatshirt from Noosa and Noosa yogurt. And generally speaking, I'm like branded stuff, no thanks. This is the most comfortable sweatshirt ever. I wear it constantly. And it's like well over a year old. All right, next, this is a chunk. Oh my goodness, normally, I feel like you get like half the size of a sausage. This would be a really great one to break in half for both of them. And this is a jumbo, correct, turkey sausage. Hoppy Howies. And it is turkey um, as the first ingredient. And I also like that the um, a lot of times 
some treats have very interesting preservatives in it, but this is rosemary extract, and rosemary is actually a natural preservative. So I'm going to wait for them to try this out, because as much as you want it now, I've got to break that in half. And then last but not least, it is not the octopus, but I think a sea dragon is just as great. So we have Gronzor the Petty. He's got a disc squeaker, a long plush, and crinkle. The head is stuffed with fluff, and two big disc squeakers are in the crinkly body. Did you know that sea monsters have chest hair? There's plenty of fur to snuggle or shred. Let's see what this sounds like. This is going to be a favorite. What do you think? <laughs> All right. And you guys know I always love to go through the paper. So the paper, as per usual, is super cute. This is actually a really long one. But it has all of those sea monsters on it. We've got little ships and pups and all of that fun stuff. And then on the other side, there's a like a Mad Libs, like fill in the blank of Norse sniffology. Of course, mine is covered in dog slobber already. Then we've got a drawing of a ship with everything labeled, like the poop deck and really big rowing sticks, a tailwind sail, and a mastiff's mast. And then last but not least, we have all of the names of all of the toys that you can find in there, in their family tree. So overall, that is super cute. You know, my girls love the Bark Box. Um, if you want to grab one of your own for your pup, you can go to BarkBox.com slash pink and meat. But today, we've got two toys, two bags of treats, and a very, very long sausage. So what do you girls think? Was this a good one? Should we get high fives for good ones? Yay! <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below, and we will see you again soon. Bye! Do you want more of these? Can you say a woof? Yeah? Hello, Tinkerbell. Can you say a woof? A woo woo woo. Can you say a woof? Say a woof. That was a BB woo. Say a woo. <laughs> okay.